Sometimes you know exactly which car you want. You read about it, collect the Hot Wheels, search the ads, scroll through Bring a Trailer every day, read the forums, and then you buy it. Why in 1966 442? Because it has all the style, performance, and street cred of the classic muscle cars combined with the comfort and features of a fully optioned Oldsmobile. Here you see the tachometer, vent, wiper knob and washer button, headlight pull knob, speedometer, fuel gauge, idiot lights and clock, cigar lighter, ignition, HVAC controls, front speaker, center vent, and check out this radio, AM and FM in 1966. rear defroster, and power antenna switches, 442 badge, glove box, and passenger vent. Here's the performance gauge, which is a vacuum gauge. The console has a storage compartment. Check out the rocket badge, metal trim, and stitching on the door panel. The back seat has seat belts for two and courtesy lights. This is the rear speaker, and this is the rear defroster. An electric fan blows on the back glass. New cars should have these vent windows. If you have them, you love them. The driver has switches for all four windows, and the passenger and rear seat passengers have their own switches too. What's the big deal with power windows? They let the driver put all the windows down without crawling around in the car. Why put all the windows down? Unlike most new cars, it's nice to drive the 442 with the windows down. Not too noisy, not too windy. And pillarless hardtops look so much cooler with all the windows down. The trunk has room for a full-size spare and everything else. The chrome bumpers are so solid that they are the jacking points for the car. Behind the parking brake is the high beam switch. The clutch is heavy and the power drum brakes work well. For a cold start, press the accelerator to the floor to set the choke and release and it starts right up. hard to the left and up. And back into first. This is a 400 cubic inch engine rated at 360 horsepower and 440 pound-feet of torque. The combination of three carburetors, a four-speed, and air conditioning is very rare and hard to find. Let's see how it performs compared to a modern car with a turbo 4 and a 5-speed. My wife's Golf Sport Wagon goes from 30 to 60 in third gear in about 8 seconds. The Olds does it in about 4. Here are some things that Car and Driver wrote about the 442 in their March 1966 issue. It's far and away the best handling car of the bunch. It was faster in the corners on a wet surface than the other five cars were in the dry. The entire CD staff were in complete agreement that the 442 was the best machine of the six we tested. The Oldsmobile was the only car of the bunch that I genuinely enjoyed driving. It was the most comfortable and would definitely be my choice for a transcontinental journey. It was more fun to drive at speed. I felt more comfortable in it and I felt you could do much more with it without getting into trouble. In all, the 442 is a beautifully balanced automobile. It was strong and exceedingly comfortable, and it exhibited some of the most civilized handling we found in a domestically built car. But enough chit chat, let's go for a drive. Dipping into the throttle.
throttle engages the second and then the third carburetors. The ride in the 442 is surprisingly smooth and relaxed. I thought my left knee might get sore on this 133 mile trip, but outside the city, you don't have to shift much. It's happy to stay in fourth gear down to 35 miles per hour. I shift into third on tighter corners and only downshifted to second on the tightest hairpins. The car can be driven entirely on the center carburetor but the extra power is there when you want it. I'm comfortable maintaining this swift speed and the car seems to enjoy the drive as much as I enjoy driving it. Its gas mileage even broke into double digits on this trip, 10.7 miles per gallon of premium. But even in 2021, this well-optioned classic muscle car is still a pleasure to own and drive.